Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I have a special tutorial for you. We'll be taking a look at the Eternity Knot. Now we have done a version of the Eternity Knot in a previous video, but today we'll be making a two color version. So let's jump in. So in our previous Eternity Knot video, we featured a magnetic closure for our bracelet. For the bracelet I'm making today, I will be featuring some microcord that I will be creating an adjustable closure with. So for our bracelet today, I started off with 10 feet of 550 cord, both in international orange and one of our new cord colors, Thankful. And for my adjustable closure, I'll be using around three feet of microcord in tan. So to start your eternity knot, you're gonna take your cord and you're going to form a loop. So what you want is your working end laying over your stationary end. Then you're going to take that cord and you're going to bring it underneath your stationary cord. And then you're just going to lay it right over the top of that loop on this side. So you end up with an infinity sign. Then I'm going to hold that in place while I grab my second cord. And I'm going to slide that into the middle. And then I will end up going over both this strand, both my working end of my first color and the stationary end of your second color. So you'll do the same thing you did on the other side where you're gonna pass that working end underneath and then bring it through the loop up at the top. So again, you will end up with another infinity sign. And after you've tightened up and adjusted your cords, this is what your finished eternity knot should look like. Now all that we have left as far as the knot goes is to cut off these ends and melt them down so that they are towards the back of your knot. Now onto our adjustable knot closure. So what I figured I would try to use today would be just some square knots in microcord to create a, a little adjustable portion right here on the two cords. So for my adjustable closure, I'm going to be using the microcord and just doing a series of square knots that will allow it to slide back and forth. So when you're measuring your wrist out, just make sure that you can fit about two fingers underneath it comfortably. So now I'll start on my ends. So I'm going to find the middle of my microcord and I'm just going to tie it around the end of my bracelet. And I'll just be doing a series of square knots or cobra weave to make those ends. So again, if you're new to the square knot, you're just going to make a loop with one of your working ends and cross the other one over the top of it. You're going to bring that around the back of your core strand and loop it through the back of the first loop that you made. So I'm just going to continue on with my cobra weave and show you when it's done. So now that I did the king cobra on my bracelet ends, I'm actually going to make my adjustable closure out of just a regular cobra weave. So for this one, you just want to make sure that you are not making it too tight so you are able to slide those ends in and out to adjust it. And there's our finished Eternity bracelet with our Cobra Weave adjustable closure and end caps. So again, I used one of our newest colors, Thankful in 550 cord, and I really like how much the orange and tan complement that color scheme. So thanks again for joining us. And we will be leaving links in the description below to all the materials and cord that we use today, including our new thankful color. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's any projects that you'd like for us to try in the future, make sure you comment those below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.